Everybody's Tyler here at Sugar Rush, checking in with the champions, 5203G Gremlin and 2011A Asymmetrical. I'm here with Carson and Brady. We're going to be talking about their big win uh, they had here today. Uh, starting with you, uh, you know, we talked at Haunted. You won that one, but you got picked. You were the Alliance captain here. Uh, so congratulations. How's it feel to get your second signature event win so far this season? There's so many butterflies going through my stomach right now. I think, like, we, we were all... Uh, after the day kept going really good, we went undefeated in quals. We were really excited. We weren't trying to get too much like hope or anything like that, but it went really well through a limb, so we're really, really excited. Talking about your alliance partner here, why was 2011A such a great fit uh, for you to pick them and, and go all the way through the finals because you performed so well? So we've competed with 2011A in a lot of tournaments. We know they're really consistent, both their org and them as an individual team. We actually had a quals match with them, and we won 173 to 30, which was absolutely wild because neither of us touched a single match load. And because of that, they, we knew they really understood our strategy, and so that was making us lean towards them. Brady, you had a triple crown uh, earlier this year, now a huge signature event win. What's your team feeling so far going through this process? I mean, we're absolutely ecstatic about this season. We haven't been this good early season for since ever. I mean, this is, this is really, really, really great. Talking about uh, finals coming in, I mean, a heck of a matchup. Uh, one of the craziest uh, sets of matches I've seen with uh, no match loads going in for that. So how did your alliance approach that strategy of uh, going against a Loba who could just clear them out right away? Uh, we were very, very cautious of double zoning. Whenever we did end up double zoning, which we rarely did, we immediately told, or one of our teammates immediately told the drivers to go touch the bar just to cancel out that double zoning. I mean, we knew it was going to be super defensive going into it too, so we, we, we were prepared for that. And how about in finals match number two? Did you make any adjustments uh, going in? Really close match in finals match number two. How was the strategy going to that one? So we talked through things that the other alliance could possibly do to combat what happened in first match. Our first match was really clean. It wasn't as close as we thought it would be. Uh, so we didn't really adjust much during second match other than prepare to introduce match loads because we hadn't been doing that through a limbs much. But. Well, congratulations both of you as well to an absolutely phenomenal performance here at Sugar Rush. And can't wait to see you at both the course of the World Championships. Good luck the rest of the way and live it up, everybody. Thanks a lot. Thank you. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Girl Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit recf.org and get connected.